How do you become a Jamaican national hero? Good question. There have been several discussions over the years on whether or not Bob Marley, Louise Bennett, Jimmy Cliff, or even Usain Bolt should be given the highest honor in Jamaica. In a recent Don Anderson poll conducted on 1,113 Jamaicans, 29% were in support of Bob Marley and the same percent of people chose Louise Bennett. However, 27% were against anyone new being given national hero status. With those discussions in the air and Heroes Day around the corner, I wonder how many Jamaicans know how a national hero is chosen. Jamaica currently has a national heroine, Nanny of the Maroons, and six national heroes, Samuel Sharp, Marcus Mazar Garvey, George William Gordon, Paul Bogle, Norman Washington Manley, and Alexander Bustamante. They are all dead. And now that I think of it, it wouldn't be a good idea to confer the order of national hero on someone who is alive. That ought to get to their head, don't you think? Jamaica has a list of honors and awards that they confer on a select few who have made outstanding contributions to the development of the country. In Jamaica, we have six orders of the Societies of Honor and two national awards. They are as follows. Order of National Hero, Order of the Nation, Order of Excellence, Order of Merit, Order of Jamaica, Order of Distinction, Commander Class, and officer class and by the award of the badge of honor and the medal of honor of these the order of national hero is considered the most senior in 1969 jamaica's first governor general the most honorable sir clifford campbell signed into law the national honors and awards act which governs these honors and awards are you a jamaican if so, you are able to nominate anyone you feel is deserving of any of these awards and honors except the Order of National Hero. According to the National Honors and Awards Act, the Governor General shall be the Chancellor of the Order of National Hero and as such shall be responsible for the administration of that order and the appointment of such other officials for the Order of National Hero as he thinks fit. An advisory committee is created for the purposes of the Order of National Hero. Its duty is to conduct investigations on the people living or dead upon whom the honor of National Hero may be conferred, the result of which is reported to the Prime Minister who then advises the Governor General. The order can be conferred upon a person who is living or dead. He or she must be a citizen of Jamaica or was upon death. National heroes must be referred to as right excellence and when alive should wear as decoration the prescribed insignia of the order of national hero. Jamaica celebrates National Heroes Day every year on the third Monday in October. It is a public holiday and is marked with a ceremony held annually on the lawns of King's House, where awardees and honorees are presented with their awards and honors. If you want to test your knowledge of our national heroes, check this video out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.